G'day and welcome to the Tech Math channel. What we're going to be having a look at in this video is this is going to be the last of the, it's sort of the culmination of looking at SIRDs where we're looking at um, <laughs> basically how to do some more complex operations with them now. Now we've looked at multiplying and dividing SIRDs, we've looked at addition of SIRDs, we've also looked at simplifying SIRDs and so those videos are probably really really good if you haven't seen them yet. But basically what they showed were a couple of things. First off SIRDs what they are is they're a type of number which uh, is generally expressed as a, a root of another th number, a, a root of a number. So say something like the square root of two or the square root of three. Um, now we've worked out that thirds in the fir in the multiplication we worked out that thirds could be multiplied. So say something like the square root of a times the square root of b was equal to the square root of a times b. So the square root of say three times the square root of uh, 2 is like the square root of 6, okay, that would be a similar thing to say, or divided, which is a very uh, vice versa thing of those, I'm not going to write that particular rule down. We also found out the terms that had the same third could be added or subtracted, I'll give you an example of this, so, um, so say if something was like the square root, 3 times the square root of a plus 4 times the square root of a, we end up with say 7 times the square root of a. So these could be directly added like this. Um, but we also found that we could actually simplify certain thirds. Um, if, if the number under the square root sign had a factor which was a perfect square, and a perfect square was say something like um, where 2 squared equals 4 or 3 squared equals 9. So if you can go through those previous videos and get those, or if you understand that already, you'll be fine for this next thing we're going to talk about right now. So, if, you have, if, you, if you're going to struggle with those, I recommend you go back and have a look. So, let's have a bit of a look at the type of questions we're looking at in this. Okay, so this is this type of question. So, say you've got say something like um, the square root of 5, and we're going to be multiplying this by t um, something in brackets here, 2 plus the square root of 3. Okay, this is nice and simple to start off with. Now, the way that we do this is as follows. Um, now this is fairly simple. We're just going to multiply this number by this number and this number this number. It's just a matter of expanding the brackets. So we're going to start out doing a fairly basic one to these and then we're going to get to more complex ones. So this is equal to the square root of 5 times 2. Okay, this one's here. And we're going to add this to the square root of 5 which is times by the square root of 3. Okay? And so we can actually then take this a little bit further and 2 times the square root of 5 is 2 square root 5 and 3 times the square root of f f uh, <laughs> the square root of 5 times the square root of 3 well that was equal to that uh, when you multiply thirds this is equal to the square root of 15. Okay? We can't simplify this any further so this is our answer. I know, once again with thirds, it sometimes doesn't feel like you've actually got an answer, but this is our answer here. Okay, because we can't actually get this down to factors which are, are going to work really nicely over here as well. So, okay, that's that's, that's what it is. Alright, now let's have a, um, a look at a harder type of question here. So, what about we do this particular one here? Um, say we do uh, so we had this one here, the square root of 3, and we're going to times this by 2 plus the square root of 3. Okay, so if we were doing this, the way we do this is follow. So again, we just multiply, um, we, we're going to expand these brackets out and then try to simplify them. Okay, so first we're going to multiply these two terms, and then we're going to multiply these two terms. Okay, so we're going to have first off the square root of 3 times 2. And we're going to be adding that to the square root of 3 times the square root of 3. Now, you might think, well, the square root of 3 times the square root of 3 is actually going to be 3. Okay, so our answer here is going to be 2 times the square root of 3 plus 3. Okay. I'm going to give you one more example with these. Okay, these aren't these aren't too bad, but they just take a little while to get used to. So, say we do um, 
7 times the square root of 2 and we're going to multiply that by the square root of 6 this is in brackets take away the square root of 3 okay a nice and uh, nasty looking one here so when we do this we get as follows we're going to go uh, 7 times the square root of 2 and we're first off we're going to multiply this by this number here which is by the set by the square root of 6 and this is taking away 7 times the square root of 2 and we're multiplying this by the square root of 3 okay so this is what we're, we're stuck with so far so can we take this any further well we can now the way we do this is as follows so we what we do now is we're going to multiply these guys so we're going to end up with 7 and we can multiply these guys straight through so this one times this one is 7 square root 12 and this is going to be taking away 7 times the square root and we multiply these ones of 6 okay because when we multiply we get that sort of answer so what do we get now well you might remember that this perfect square idea this one doesn't have any factors to go into it. This one does. This one has 4 and 3. So this we can actually take even further. We can say this is equal to so 7 times the square root of 4 times 3. Take away 7 times the square root of 6. So again we can take this a little bit further. The square root of 4 is 2. So this becomes uh, 2 here. So 2 times 7 is 14. 14 times the square root of 3 and this is going to be taking away 7 times the square root of 6. Now these are their lowest factors at the moment, they can't go any further so we leave it at this. So how did you go with that? That was your answer there. These are not the easiest thing ever. I think people find them a little bit tricky because it's often hard to uh, know when to uh, stop with the things but um, or where to head with them. But hopefully you've done okay with them. Alright, um, anyway Hopefully that was of some help with you. Um, anyway, we'll see you next time. Bye.